The inclined plane is a problem that is commonly set up in some version of this format that we have here, where you have an object with a mass m that is placed on a slope or an incline that is inclined to the horizontal at some angle theta. Now, what this changes is that the force of gravity now acts in essentially two planes. The one plane being the force of gravity or the part or the component of gravity that is pulling that object down the slope and then the other component of gravity that is pulling the object into the slope. And we can find these by first realizing that the force of gravity is always a force that acts vertically downwards to the center of the earth and that is calculated by taking the product of the object's mass multiplied by gravitational acceleration. Once we have done that, we can then resolve this into those two components. Those components being the component of gravity that pulls this object into the slope, and we call that Fg perpendicular. The reason for that being that this force is always perpendicular to the slope. The second component is the component of gravity that is pulling this object down the slope, and we call that Fg parallel. The reason for that, that this component acts parallel to the slope, in this case, downwards. What we have now done is we have created a right angle triangle. With the right angle being here, we can use geometry to find that this angle theta that the slope is inclined at is also equal to this angle theta over here. And now that we have a right angle triangle, we can see that the angle opposite to this is Fg parallel. The angle adjacent to it is Fg perpendicular and the hypotenuse is the original force of gravity. So we can use trigonometry now to find out what the values of each of those components is by seeing that the opposite side is Fg parallel and we know that sine of theta is equal to the opposite side of a triangle over the hypotenuse of that triangle which in this case the opposite being Fg parallel and the hypotenuse being Fg, which can then be simplified to give us the formula Fg parallel is equal to the force of gravity multiplied by sine of that incline. Similarly, we can do a calculation to find that the perpendicular component of the gravitational force is always equal to Fg cos of theta.